what's up guys welcome to another video today's video I'll, I'll show you how to beat cryptics trials which is actually pretty hard i've done it after i've beaten it and people just die at the most randomest spots i've ever seen like at the very end of the boss fight the boss fight the boss has like 25 hp left and then they just sit there and die i have no idea why they just don't want to win I have no idea why. I'll show you how to get the crypt kit and get this cool title, get the kit and get the email and everything else that comes with it. I don't really know everything that comes with it. So let me show you how to do this. Basically in the beginning, just go up to this gate over here and then click or hold F for the blue button and the gate should open and you're onto the second part of this little area. As you can see, this guy spawns here and he looks pretty creepy. And this update seems pretty good. I like how they actually made this, so that's pretty nice. For the second part of this area, you basically wanna stroll around the area in a circle. You can go either left or right. There'll always be a symbol here on the rock that when you first spawn in or go into the little area here you should be you should see and you have your first clue so basically just soak around the map or you can just become a wizard like me and just guess and then get it correct and that's how you become a wizard and you on to the second area for the second area this is one of the most hardest areas because some people like to troll and some people don't really know how to guide the light and they run you right into skulls for some weird reason and i'll show you how to guide the light because that's the part that most people struggle on so when you're in the area basically just follow the light and if you run into like a boss you will instantly die so if you run into a skull which i'll show you later you'll instantly die and there's no like respawning or anything no healing and there's gonna be some skeletons in the area and if you play it enough you should memorize the maze a little bit i've memorized it a little bit after a while it gets pretty easy and if you have a teammate i recommend getting a teammate that could help you go on so you don't have any trolls just purposefully killing you and wasting your keys and if you ever get low, just go up on the pillar. You should see them on the sides. And you basically, the skeletons won't be able to hit you there. And you should be able to complete the maze. Once you're at the end, you should see this blue, like, portal orb. And once you touch that, you should be teleported to the third area of the trial. For the third area, it's actually pretty weird. It's the obby, and I see tons of people dying here for some weird reason. They always die here, which makes no sense. The obby is not even a hard obby. As you can see, there's some fog on the floor. You basically just run up to the gate, and you open it, and this kills everyone. So basically, on the bridges here, you see the ghosts. You basically look at the ghosts, see how many ghosts there are. So if there's one ghost on one bridge, one person's supposed to go there. And then you run into the boulders here. Um, basically, just stick to the left until you see an opening in the boulders that you can run through. And just stick on the right, and you should be fine. Just keep on walking up. And sometimes the boulders will spot on, on your head, but that's no big deal. You just take 30 damage. You should be fine. You won't take any like massive damage once you go there you should be good and you're on the hardest part and the final part of this trial for the fourth and final area this is gonna be the hardest part for you you're gonna have a lot of trouble i had a lot of trouble in this you know it took me like five times i know that doesn't seem a lot but it took me like an hour to do it so this is one of the hardest things in the trial and you could easily die here if you're not paying attention so basically just bow spam him until he gets low enough 
and he'll have two attacks right out of the gate. One is undodgeable, which is like a little beam with skulls, and that one's undodgeable, but it only doesn't do that much damage. Next is the skulls. The skulls are also easy to dodge, but the people can mess you up on the skulls because people can run in front of you. This is another trolling method. People can run in th front of you and basically a skull is going to land on you. And the skulls don't do too much damage. They do 15 damage. It's not a lot. But if you're not careful, they can easily kill you if you get hit by many of them. After a while, after like 75% HP, um, these like pillars or like rock things will form up. And then... Basically, there's going to be a tombstone right next to Cryptic over here. And whatever that tombstone, like, image is on, go to the tombstones on, in the middle in the, of the map. And for the walls, like the fog walls, you basically, there's going to be some openings. They're normally towards the sides. And basically, just go through, through those openings, and you should be fine. This is one of the easiest survival attacks, except for later on, when you get anti-cheated and, like, hit into the wall, which is, can be a pretty annoying, because the wall does, like, 30 damage, I think. 30 or 15 damage, I don't know. Um, but, so, those are pretty dangerous. For Cryptic's final attack... And I think he only does this once, and I think this is his final attack. There's going to be some more rocks coming up from the ground. There's going to be two rocks, and you should see some ghosts on it. It's going to be on the same thing from the bridges on the in the cave area, the previous area. It's similar to this. So basically, I see it, most of the people die here for some random reason. They know how to do the bridge. But they don't know how to do this, which makes absolute no sense. So basically, it's just like the bridge. You see the ghost on there. One player goes with the ghost. Once a player steps on the platform, the ghosts will light up. Basically, just one ghost, one person, two ghosts, two people. You kind of get it. And after that, the acid floor will come up. And then you should be able to beat Crypt. And like I said... The more you progress through, the harder it'll get. And for some reason, towards the end, you tend to anti-cheat a lot, which is a little weird. And once you do these steps, you should be able to beat the Cryptic's Trials. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you like and subscribe and comment down below any su video suggestions that you have for me. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye